there's this idea that like um, characters are are sort of depressed, and, and I don't. I think there's melancholy in life. I don't, and I th I tend people sometimes say, why don't you write happier books? And I'm like, cause that would just be boring, right? Like, if I read if I read a happy book, I'm like, so what happened? Everybody got everything they wanted, um, and I've and, and I've always thought, well, some people that's not how life actually works. I do think that um, that we all have loss in our lives, and that what I'm m more interested in thinking about is how we sort of live and bear that loss. And, and melancholy for me isn't isn't a bad thing. It's um, I, I, I can understand that it's like slightly frustrating to perhaps to read, and for those of you who are reading it or stopped reading it, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but I also think that melancholy becomes um, our access point to, to, to different forms of joy and more complicated forms of joy. Um, if you're happy all the time, what do you really get to look forward to, right? Like everything's going great. Um, they're just gonna get better? I don't know, like at some point it's just like, it all flattens it out. Um, but I think if you're really kind of looking at yourself honestly, I think it's hard not to feel touched by certain moments of loss and grief that, that haunt you for, for longer periods and to find a way to grant your characters, um, and the ending is left to the reader really to decide whether it's happy or, or, or utterly tragic. I don't think it's utterly tragic as a clue. Um, but I do think what you can give your characters is some, some more profound sense of like who they are, like a greater sense of realizing something about themselves. And that to me is joy. Like that's really great joy is to know something about who you are that you didn't know at the beginning. And if that means having to struggle emotionally, that's a greater thing, right? Like I don't, um, and maybe I'm just not happy enough. I don't know. <laughs> I am very happy though. I'm like really happy. <laughs> And here's our last audience question. How much of your book was conceived from the memories and stories you inherited from your parents? Um, that's a great question. Um, it's, it's hard to draw the lines. There's, um, you know, the, the, narr the narrator's father um, dies in the, in the novel, and that's not really, it's, he's dead from the beginning, so you know that. Um, but his name is Shibru, and that was the same name of my, my uncle who died in the revolution. I never, I never knew my uncle. He died um, a year before I was born. But when we came to America, my father, he was, my father was closer to him than anyone else in the world. And when we came to America, my father would take these long walks through the suburbs of Peoria and then the suburbs of Chicago. And as he would walk, he would just say his brother's name over and over, um, Shibru, Shibru. And so I grew up hearing this name. Um, and I grew up knowing that he had died. And I grew up knowing that he was a lawyer who had gone to the University of Kansas Law School. Um, and then that was it. Um, I knew my other uncle, who, who I did know growing up and lives in D.C., that he had left when he was 15, that he walked from Ethiopia to Sudan with a group of friends and was a refugee and made a fake passport and ended up in France and somehow got to America and lived in this housing complex with other Ethiopians. Um, but I knew only these weird sketches of their lives. And um, there's this great story, um, or great line from Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson, um, where she says, facts tell you nothing. If anything, it's facts that need explaining. Um, and so I'd say I had all these facts, um, and I had all these political facts and historical facts. I did my research about when things happened in Ethiopia, but what I didn't ever have was a narrative or an explanation for what those facts were. So those facts kind of formed the architecture of the story, um, and, then, and then the rest was the imagination that comes in.